<laughs> so <laughs> what? <laughs> so what I'm saying is, like, if y'all admit you can't do these things, let me let me let me just y'all not dating people men who are undesirable. Would you guys agree with that? I agree. Yes. So if men have been desirable most of their lives, because we know it's only twenty percent of men getting most of the cheeks. So it was it's just 30% last week. Um, no, 51% of men are single and childless, 30% of men are married. So the left, what's left? So holeless Asian. Put him in a fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. <laughs> Even on people so, heavy. So um, so yeah, so if he's used to because think about it, if he stays single. Treats everybody with respect, the women that he deals with, and he has five of them. It's guaranteed he could fulfill all seven days. Uh -uh. Guaranteed. So now wait, he can't fill seven days with five girls? Uh -uh. Plus the one night stands he got you, every if month? He needs it. I'm going to lift this leg up. No, no. No, <laughs> he, no he's not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm painting a picture of the men that you guys desire the most. He has options, right? Mm -hmm. And then those five options, he's treating them well. They going out to eat sometimes, yada yada, so on and so forth, because he like them. He likes he can he can he can date all five girls that he likes. I don't right? think you and, give somebody a woman enough time. Like, so what you're trying to say is, oh, every woman gets like one day and a couple hours. Women well, are not going to settle for that much time. Well, well, there's a rotation, right? People who start to catch feelings get rotated out. Okay. Right. So <laughs> now you have the four or five that he likes. And then you got the couple one night stands and this, that, and a third. And he on Tinder, he getting cheeks from there, right? And now you're saying, no, sign up for this, where I'm gonna hit you with a honey bun. I'm gonna give you, I'm, I'm gonna have sex with you for the first three months every day. And then as soon as you put a ring on it, and we walk down the aisle, now I'm gonna hit you with a honey bun. Mm -hmm. When why didn't he just stay outside? If you don't want no help, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> See, because he's not treating these women poorly. That's the thing. Right. You've so, all been, you've all been a side chick before and didn't know it. And some you, of us did it willingly. Yeah, That's and you just the option that he wanted. You were cool. He liked you. He made sure you were straight. Um, but the girl that he wanted, you probably, you probably could Google the nigga or Instagram the nigga right now. He married to her, which is fine. And you got somebody else you like better anyway. Yo, Hank, what up, though? Oh, man. Hank, so, Hank, basement, please follow his page, man. So, right. Ham, the, the, the flaw in your theory is the man's emotional capacity to give his emotions to one, to all five women is not there, right? You're saying he treats them good. Yeah. Someone won't be treated the best. So, for, so if I follow your logic... Um, why not get married? Want to read this? Want to read it? Go ahead. Mike Brown, thank you for the super chat. Ten dollars super chat. <laughs> oh, Stop acting like none of you have all the <laughs> peace. Right, with a married man. Just because Put his he's ass in the bathroom. Right. Because we clearly said we've done it knowingly. Put his ass right. in the bathroom. Right. right. We already said this. You late. You like Mike? Uh, oh, boom. You real late. Mike, show show us your side piece, Mike. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Word. Word. Hey, yeah. shout out. Hey, man, that's my bro, man. Oh, they're telling name. on himself. So, well, I know Mike in real life. Put his ass in the bathroom. <laughs> Put him in the fucking bathroom. Get him out of here. Yes, you know, Mike. Um, all right. So, well, you're saying the theory is the emotional capacity, right? Right. The emotional capacity of a man is not. You you missed good. you missed one thing I said. You said he treats them all good. When she start catching feelings, she gets rotated out. No, but no, no, no. I wasn't talking about that. But I'm going on if he's married because you sat there and said, why huh? would you not want help? Listen, please. You said, why would y'all not want help? So if mm -hmm. I follow your logic and he's and I allow my husband to have help or have me to have help. I'm sorry. I have help with my husband. His emotional capacity is not there because like you said, he treats the side pieces well. He has feelings for them. That's a problem. Oh, I see. I see. I see what's happening. Conflict. Okay. You're not not intentionally, but you're conflating both ideas. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying the married woman, why not get help for the things you know you can't sustain? And I'm saying the single guy who's desirable, here's how he's living his life before he finds you. But the thing is, with a single guy, he lets you know, I, I'm, just, I'm not ready for a relationship right now. And you have to respect that. 
So if you are a part of that rotation, I'm respecting that because I'm not looking for anything else. He let me know up front. It's when the single guy acts like he wants to be in a relationship and now he's manipulating my mind and then he's messing with all these other women, then that's where the problem is because yeah. I can give you your space. I'm going to give well, you more of the space than you want. Yeah, Ish, I got you. Here's the thing, though. It makes no sense for him not to inflate your head because if he doesn't and tells you the real truth, he's not going to get what he wants. That's not true. Some well, women out here want to give up the cash <coughs> and they want the same thing. Yeah, but you'll find... <coughs> I'm just saying it doesn't it, <clears throat> logically if you want something you treat it nice you treat it a particular way you can get sometimes I think now sometimes will apply where you can get it off the if you say yo what you trying to do you may have some women who oblige let's ask love nigga just say yo I, I, I'm trying to get these draws however he said have you ever done that before because there ain't no big deal right so <clears throat> I've only had sex with two men, and the two men I have had sex with have never talked to me in that way. <laughs> Tay. Because he's nah. just saying we want honesty. So he come up in the club, he buy you a drink. He's attractive. You attractive. He tell you, listen, my man work at the such and such. He can get us a room for free. What you trying to do? <laughs> That's I don't respond to that, no. No. Well, it's better game than that. But you, the game is the game. He's saying, I want some cheeks tonight. And you was feeling it. You You're not doing that? I'll do that to him, but I won't let him do that to me. Ex what does that mean? Oh, you're saying if, if you walk up to a guy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you but will But I won't engage. let him do that to me. I will. I okay. will engage it, but I got to initiate it. Oh, okay. So that's a... Oh, oh for two, Isha. Ro. <laughs> Hell no, nah, too many diseases around here. Mm -mm. Use a condom. Stop the cap. Nay. Yes, I have. I was with the shit too. <laughs> shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like I'm that. thinking of a particular situation. I did it. Wow. Okay, sis. <laughs> sis. I don't think so. I think I play hard to get a little bit all the time. Hmm. Isha. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it wasn't, he didn't have to talk my mind off or talk my panties off. I went in a situation knowing, okay, I'm about to go chill with him and I'm going to do it. And my mind was already made. You, you was already feeling him. So you already knew what time he was on. Well, I, I wasn't, I was like, you know, if this was a one night thing, I was cool with it. Was okay. it worth it, Isha? No, Isha, was it worth it? Was it I'm good? I'm still dealing with him to this day. Yeah. <laughs> shit, 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 shit like that. Shit like that. Right, shit so, like that. Yeah, shit so like that. Yeah, so what? what, what like and that. so it basically just proves the point that, you, you know, we say honesty is the best policy, but people actually hate honesty. Like, like, people really do. They don't want to hear the truth. People like roses and bubbles. People like white lies. We know that. I mean, come on, let's not. So why would a man approach if he trying to get some with 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 an approach that's rough, rugged and, and raw? It's just it's just unlikely that it's going to work. My thing is eventually you find out. So what then? I mean, I don't know. I'm different. I just I just I like honesty, even if it's going to hurt my feelings. I feel like that's just how I operate. Bro, bro, I'm, bro, bro. But you're but you're and I'm not not cutting you off, just interjecting. We he wants what he wants. If he's yeah, honest with you, saying. you. But if he's honest with you, you say you're not going to give it to him, right? Right. But let me so tell then, you that. Just say, be honest. But, but men know that already. We assume that if we just say it, we're not going to get it. Therefore, we got to play the game. Um, I'll give you an example. Isha was out with a nigga that she wasn't feeling. He brought her to a bar. His man worked there. She thought he bought popped the bottle in 1942, and really it was on the house. And he got some cheeks, right? Because he played it. He took her out, all that. Stop lying. Stop lying to the people. <laughs> Stop lying to the people. <laughs> I was about to say, him about to get beat up. Stop like lying to the people. Play sis so, out, you know? I'm saying, you got to play the game. I mean, it don't make sense for a man not to play the game. But, you know, if you 